What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about how the Royal Canadian Mint really dropped the ball this time. And I'm talking about the Creatures of the North 2 Troy Ounce Silver Coin Series. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for a bunch of new videos. Subscribe to my second channel for even more videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. We even have some Kraken-inspired merchandise. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Every month they have a new promo going on where if you refer a friend or sometimes three friends, they're going to give you even more free stocks, usually Apple stock, which you can hang on to or sell and use the cash to, I don't know, maybe get some silver coins if that's what you want. Everything will be linked in the description. Okay, so let me get myself set up here. I wanted to talk about the Creatures of the North coin series. And how it is my belief that the Royal Canadian Mint really screwed up. Because here we are, as I'm filming the video, May of 2023. I believe this video will be coming out the first week of June 2023. And we haven't gotten a third coin. We haven't gotten a third piece of the puzzle in terms of this coin series we've only gotten the two now i'm going to get into the details i'm going to get into quite a bit in this video might be a lengthy video but it'll be very silver heavy so first things first before we get into the series and my thoughts on what the royal canadian mint has done here i just wanted to point out that everything that i say in this video is not coming from the perspective of a coin collector. I've never really been into coins in that way. I've never really gone after any particular coin because I wanted to work on, you know, getting this coin and then that coin and this coin and that coin and this coin and that coin and eventually complete a set. I've never really been into it in that way. For the last, I think, five and a half years at this point. Wow, yeah, it's been five and a half years. For the last five and a half years, I've been into coins in a slightly different way. And it's not even so much about coins, it's more so about the physical silver and gold content. The coins, the rounds, the bars, and for the most part, I never really cared what I was stacking because I was stacking for weight. I wasn't stacking because coin collecting was a hobby of mine. I was more so after the physical silver content wasn't really too interested in high premium pieces. I was just trying to get the most bang for my buck and I was just after the silver. That's what I was looking for. Wasn't really interested in high premium coins. I like the low premium rounds and bars and, and sometimes coins as well if they make sense. So that being said, just wanted to point that out because I'm not a disgruntled coin collector because of this series. But with all the different coin series out there, I've always been able to appreciate them, especially the Canadian coin series. I've been saying it for the last five and a half years. Canada, just for whatever reason, they just have a knack. Like they have, they have their finger on the pulse. Like they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to coin series when it comes to sets when it comes to collections like they're really really good when it comes to that there's the the wildlife series the birds of prey like there there are so many and i've always been able to appreciate it the art and just how nice like just the aesthetic of the coin like they're just such good looking coins there's good looking coins all over the place there are like unbelievable different collections from a bunch of different countries from a bunch of different mints but Canada, just, they just have a knack for it for some reason. That's the best way I can describe it. And even though they've had a plethora of coin series, in 2020, when they launched the Creatures of the North series, for whatever reason, 
there was something different about it. And I was immediately hooked. And it's because the first coin in the series was this one right here. The Kraken. First and foremost. Whew. That's a beauty right there. It's still one of my, if not my favorite, coin in my possession. Just such a gorgeous looking piece. It's a two troy ounce, four nines fine, gorgeous piece of silver. Unbelievable design. And I think what drew me in was the fact that the series was almost open to interpretation. This was the first time since, you know, I've only been stacking for five and a half years, which I know to a lot of new people out there that might sound like only five and a half years, that's a lifetime. No, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. And also keep in mind, this was 2020 that this happened. I was only, I was only at that point, what? two and a half, maybe three years in. And it was the first time during my stacking journey and experience that I got to catch a series the moment it launched. See, I could have very easily hopped on board with some of the older series, which a lot of people might have caught when they were launched, but this was the first series, or at least the first one that I was aware of, the one that really caught my eye at least, that I caught at the very beginning. I saw the very first piece of the puzzle and no one had any idea what the second one was gonna be or how many coins there would be in the entire series once it was complete. We didn't know, it was open to interpretation, but it was called Creatures of the North. So, it was interpreted in a couple of different ways. The two most popular ways people interpreted it from the very beginning being that the first one was a kraken, creatures of the north, could be, a, you know, this is a sea creature of the north right there. So a lot of people thought, okay, this series is going to be basically sea creatures. That's what they, that's how they interpreted creatures of the north. It was going to be sea creatures. Like, okay, what other sea creatures could they put on a coin? I don't know, maybe a mermaid, maybe the, uh, the megalodon, I believe it's called, the giant massive shark so many different ways you can go open to interpretation other people said no that's not what it means creatures of the north means mythical creatures the kraken obviously you know giant squid what's another mythical creature we can talk about i don't know maybe a dragon maybe a griffin once again, open to interpretation, so many different ways we can go. And I think that's what part of the magic was. It opened up a conversation and we all got to share ideas and, and we all got to think for a second. We got to stop and take a break from all the noise and ponder about what direction this coin series was gonna end up going in. It was fun to think about, it was fun to talk about. I offered a third theory. I thought maybe they're going to go with a creature of the sea, creature of the sky, and creature of the land. Maybe it would be a three coin set, or maybe two of each, it'd be a six coin set. So creature of the sea, we already have one, the kraken. Creature of the sky could be, you know, dragon, griffin. Creature of the land could be, I don't know, maybe Bigfoot, the Yeti. There's so many different ways you can go. Open to interpretation, and it opened up a creative discussion. Which is part of why I was drawn to the series in the first place. Not to mention, that was the year Silver was really popping off. Everyone was watching Silver videos, and I was like, that would be an incredible video right there if I went and got the Kraken everybody's talking about silver and everybody's talking about this series I you know it would make for more and better content so I went and got the Kraken this was 2020 we spent the rest of that year wondering what's the second one gonna be lo and behold 2020 came to an end 2021 came around we were waiting for a while but then it was released. It 
the werewolf. Look at that right there. Unbelievable. Such an incredible looking coin. Gorgeous piece of silver. Really tough, rugged design. I love the way that looks. Not nearly as much as I like how the Kraken looks. This right here still one of my favorite, if not my number one favorite coin in my possession. Which, by the way, just as a friendly reminder, I know I've been talking about it for the first 10 minutes of this video already, but I, I love the way the Kraken looks so much. So much so that it inspired merchandise that I put in the DYDSS store. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs. Just it, It's just such a fun design. Arguably one of my favorite pieces in the DYDSS store, available in black, dark blue, and red. And a portion of the proceeds are going to help clean the ocean, ocean cleanup. So if anybody's interested in that, I make close to no money off of DYDSS merchandise because I sell everything for so unbelievably cheap. I take home close to nothing at all because <laughs> it's more important to me to build a brand than it is to make a ton of money off of t-shirts and stuff like that. For me, it's it's more fun. I get more joy out of seeing the uh, the pictures that get sent in on either Twitter or or whatever of, of people rocking the DYDSS merchandise. That, that's that's really cool to me. So it's more important to me to build a brand than it is uh, anything else, and at least when it comes to merchandise, that is. So if anybody's interested, the link will be in the description. All right. So anyway, enough of the Kraken. We're talking about the werewolf now. Such an unbelievable design. This was the 2021 design. So then, that continued the conversation. Like, okay, now we know we can take sea creatures of the north off the table. We know that's not what it is because now the second was not a sea creature. It was a werewolf. So now we started talking like, okay, they still could put out some aquatic creatures, but it's not going to be a sea creature themed coin series. This is 2021. Wonder what 2022 is going to be. Wonder what the third coin is going to be. Twenty twenty one came to an end, moved into twenty twenty two. We knew it was probably going to be, you know, sometime in the second half of the year, so we weren't really anticipating anything in January <laughs> or even March or April. But once we got about halfway into the year, you know, the topic got brought up again. Like, hey, you know, wonder what it's going to be. Wonder what the coin is going to be released for this year. They're supposed to be releasing one a year. We got the 2020 Kraken. We got the 2021 Werewolf. We don't know what the 2022 coin is going to be. What's it going to be? Will I be right? We got a creature of the sea and a creature of the land. Are we going to get a creature of the sky next? Is it going to be another mythical creature? Is it going to be a dragon? A lot of coins out there. There are a lot of dragon coins already, so I was kind of kind of hoping not. I, I like dragons. I think the, the designs are so sick, but I think it's kind of been done already. See, this is the creative discussion that kept going. I was A lot of people were like, oh, it's going to be a dragon. And I was like, it could be. I kind of hope not, though, because, like I said, the dragon, it, it's kind of been done. We've seen the dragon already from, from so many different mints, so many different countries, so many different versions of a silver or gold dragon coin. We've seen it already. To my understanding, I think we've only seen one griffin, so that, there's, there's an option right there. If my theory is correct, we're looking for a creature of the sky. That could work. Maybe a gargoyle of some sort. You know, I don't think it would be too far-fetched for them to go with, you know, maybe, maybe even like a dinosaur, a pterodactyl or something. Who knows? So many different directions you can go. 
Or maybe it's just going to be another creature of some sort. Maybe it's going to be Bigfoot, the Yeti. I'm going to go over here. Who knows? And then lo and behold, November and December rolled around, 2022, and we still hadn't gotten our third coin. We got the 2020 and the 2021, and now 2022 is coming to an end and still no third coin. What's going on here? No one understood. Like, we getting one or not? Did the series get scrapped? Did they can the whole idea? Because I know for an absolute fact, it wasn't a flop. Everyone loved the idea. Everyone loved the series. Everybody. I haven't seen one person say, oh, that, that Kraken coin is such a, such a boring, bland, ugly, plain design. I have no interest in it. Maybe you don't want to get it, but like you'd still be able to appreciate it. The werewolf, very similar, could be said. Like, wow, that's such a cool-looking coin. Maybe you don't want to pay a slightly higher premium to get your hands on it, but you still think it's a good-looking coin. I never saw anybody insult either of the coins. Everyone was talking about it. Even the people that weren't interested in picking one up, they were still engaging in the conversation. There's a creative discussion that everybody was talking about. You can go onto my channel, go back a couple of years' worth of videos, or just type in the search bar, uh, Mikey DYDSS silver kraken unboxing or something like that or, or just silver kraken silver werewolf you can see the unboxing videos you can see the review videos you can see the comparison videos you can see the thinking out loud what's the next coin going to be type of videos and look at the comments everyone was engaged look at the views everyone was watching everyone was interested i knew that the series wasn't a flop so it's not like, ah, we had high expectations and we didn't really get what we wanted out of it. It didn't go, it wasn't as successful as we wanted. So, you know, we scrapped the idea. I knew that didn't happen. That couldn't have happened. But 2022 came to an end. We didn't get our third coin. We moved into 2023 and here we are halfway through 2023. It hasn't just been a year. It's been a year and a half at this point. We're now in, in June as this video comes out. End of May as I'm filming it. May 27th. We're now halfway through the year. It's been a year and a half since we got our last piece of the puzzle. Still no update. Still no word. Still no anything. Still no coin, most importantly. Why? And to my understanding, I don't believe a statement has even been made. They didn't say that there's a third coin coming. They didn't say, hey, we never claimed it would be every single year. We have a third one soon to be on the way. They didn't say, hey, it was supposed to be every year and you know there was a bit of a delay for whatever reason. Sorry for the holdup, but it's coming shortly. They didn't say, hey, you know, it was only a two-coin series, and that's the end of it, the end. Once upon a time, two coins, the end. They didn't say, hey, we were going to go for more, and we've changed our mind. We've scrapped the idea, and we've moved on to something else. They didn't say that either. They didn't say anything at all. So the Royal Canadian Mint, in my opinion, has really dropped the ball here. Now, I'm not demanding communication. I'm not demanding that they release a statement. I'm not demanding or requesting anything at all. I just wanted to make an update video because it's been a long time since we've talked about this series. It's been so long we might have even forgot about it. I'm sure a lot of people have. People that are relatively new, people that started stacking within the last year, year and a half, might not even know about it. This series caused a massive splash, like a, like a huge wave. I can't believe we didn't get our third coin. And I can't believe that there's, you know, a strong possibility that we don't get our third coin. Mainly because of how fun it was to talk about. 
So I think the Royal Canadian Mint really dropped the ball here. I think that this series had some massive, massive potential. I think this series, like I said earlier in the video, could have gone so many different ways. I think this series could have been massive. I think this series could have outperformed a lot of previous series. Everyone knows the wildlife series, the predator series, the birds of prey series. And guess what? That was before the Royal Canadian Mint enhanced their minting process. Those coins were so beautiful, but coins from Canada, like pure silver coins from Canada, were notorious for milk spots prior to 2018. And, and a majority of those series were from either 2018 or earlier. So a lot of those gorgeous coins from such unbelievable coin series ended up with these ugly white spots all over them. But post 2018, or, or starting in 2018, they enhanced their minting process, which has, from my experience, eliminated milk spots altogether. I don't believe I own any 2018, 19, 20, or 21 Canadian coins that have milk spots. And I don't believe I've even seen one. I don't believe anybody has even told me that they have a post-2018 pure silver Canadian coin with milk spots on them. So this coin series, obviously starting in 2020, would have been, obviously can't make any guarantees here, but I would assume milk spot free. Plus there was something different about this series because each coin, well, <laughs> both coins I should say, were two troy ounce pieces. Now, obviously, we have the Queen's Beasts. Those were two troy ounces. But not a lot of coins out there use that two troy ounce denomination. It's kind of a kind of a strange number to work with. We're used to, you know, one, five, ten, and above. Not many go with two troy ounces. But that's something that was cool about this series. It was a two troy ounce piece, or two troy ounce pieces of pure silver four nines fine silver safe to assume would be milk spot free with unbelievable designs a really cool story to go along with it see i'm, I'm a sucker for a storyline a couple years ago i started using storytelling as my way of creating content on the internet and it's gone very well. I've been told, you know, even before the videos, like, you're really good at telling stories. So I'm a sucker for a good storyline. Even things that happen to me in real life, outside of, you know, hitting record, saying what I need to say, and then, you know, uploading the video. Things that are work-related, things that are family-related, you know, my, my, my new car, for example. Like, there are a couple different things that end up not even intentionally, but they just somehow come around full circle. Like, wow, I cannot believe that happened. Like, you can't make that up. That's like, you know, it's like a God's plan type of thing. Like, things, things like that happen in my real life. And I'm like, wow, the storyline here is unbelievable. Because I'm like a video creator at heart. So I like... A video I like a movie I like a show that was directed the right way and this coin series creatures of the north it had some massive potential of being directed the right way the storyline from the first to the second to the almost third In my opinion, and from my stacking journey and experience over the last five and a half years, second to none. Which is why I think the Royal Canadian Mint really dropped the ball here. And I hope that we do get our third coin. So let me... Let me close in here and ask 
that you, the viewer, let me know in the comments. If we do get a third coin, what do you think it will be? Or what do you hope it will be? If a third coin ends up being released and you got to pick what would be on it, what would it be? For me personally, I think I would go with maybe... Honestly, I would probably go with a Yeti. I think I would go with the Yeti. If I had to pick... And it'd be tough, because there are a couple that I would really like to see as part of the series. But I think I would have to go with the Yeti. I think that's what my choice would be. But I'd like to know your thoughts. I'd like to know your opinion. And also on top of that, do you think we're going to get a third coin? Or have you kind of lost hope on that? Maybe you're like, uh, no, it's, you know, it's over. We gotta accept it. What's done is done. That's a wrap. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Also, make sure to subscribe for new videos all the time. Subscribe to my second channel for even more videos. Subscribe to, or don't subscribe to, uh, pick up a piece of DYDSS merchandise, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs, a lot of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Try out some G Fuel, oh wait, by the way, we have some Kraken inspired merchandise. It says Kraken Stackin' on it, which doesn't insinuate to a person at the grocery store, oh, I bet that guy has a bunch of silver and gold at home. No, it's pretty discreet, and if anything, it's kind of more of like one of those Salt Life shirts where they'd probably just assume you're, you're someone that likes to, you know, just likes the ocean. You, maybe you have a boat or something like that. that that's kind of what the, uh, the idea was behind that piece of merchandise. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. Over 50 different flavors to choose from. This right here is Twisted Candy. I wouldn't say it's in my top three. I wouldn't even say it's in my top five, but it's definitely up there. It, it's such a good unbelievable flavor it's delicious i highly recommend it and this right here is the flavor i'm declaring g fuel flavor of the month for june 2023 get five dollars off your first order by clicking the link in the description and last but certainly not least make sure to download weeble and fund your account they're going to give you up to 12 free fractional shares just for doing so even if you deposit as little as a penny, it still works, it still counts, you still get your up to 12 free fractional shares. And every month they have a new promo going on. It's May as I'm recording, so I don't know what the June promo is going to be, but every month they have a promo. If you refer one friend or if you refer three friends, they're gonna give you even more free stocks. Usually free Apple stock, so I'm assuming that's probably what it's gonna be. You can get those free Apple stock and hold on to them or you can sell them and use the cash to go and get yourself some silver or gold or food, whatever you want. It's your money to do what you want to do with. We will link in the description. Don't pass up on an opportunity. And of course, last but certainly not least, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What do you think of the Canadian Creatures of the North Coin series? Were you just as excited about this series as I was? And I still am, by the way. Were you as heavily invested as I was? And still am? The Kraken. Numero uno. Followed by the werewolf. Followed by, at this point, nothing. There's a missing spot on the table right here. There's an empty spot right here. Ready for a third coin. What's it gonna be? Or are we gonna get one at all? If you had to choose what the third coin's design would be, let me know in the comments. Mermaid, Megalodon, Griffin, Dragon, Gargoyle, Bigfoot, Yeti? I'd love to know. 
head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.